Like we got the war in Ukraine going on. We're we're like in this whole thing with the um, with the pandemic and this kind of stuff that's happening here, and also the suffering of Black lives and that kind of stuff. So history right now is still kind of in a similar place. I think you know back in 1968, 69, 70, 71, 72. You know when yeah. you get to Morton Feldman's piece, history is still sort of repeating itself in some way, and yet the way we're responding to that history is rather um, even more, I would say, more amplified, I guess you might say, you know, just in terms of what we're attempting to express, you know, within the presentation of this, uh, of this piece here at the Armory. Right now we have the January 6th hearings happening in Congress and, we, and, and live, and you're seeing this very, you know, th that, that I think I mentioned was a source, of these paintings that I was working on when Peter first contacted yeah. me were blurred images of the insurrection and what happens in these images when you see this kind of rupture of a particular kind of, uh, you know, contagious violence. Like we're living in this moment of deep untruths and echo chambers where there's this, there are these denials of reality or history or time. And so how does one invent something else? How does one build and create and invent and, con and continue to use the word continue in that space? Where does that possibility emerge? And it, there, it, it will always because that's what mm -hmm. we do. You know, our movement in, in Flexing has been uh, always responding to something. You know, whether it's something that's in the hood that, that's happening, whether it's something that's, um, that's political that's happening, or whether it's somebody, you know, a, a little boy getting shot in his, you know, in his apartment, in the apartment complex. Uh, we've always been responding to something. So when I hear you talk about, you know, the response and how, and how to move, um, I mean, it, it already relates so well to what Flexing does. Uh, you know, we respond with our with our emotion. We respond with our our movement, and um, even with the uh, like the musical instruments that you say that you're using with the piano, the cello, things like that. Uh, each movement responds differently to those sounds. You know, so when I when I like when when I hear a piano, immediately I think about how smooth or how we can how like how you can just move through something. I think we're also at a period in history where we don't need more shows. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's not a show at all. We, we actually right. <laughs> need ceremonies. Yes. We actually need ways to gather. We actually need ways to gather peacefully yes. and positively. Yeah. And we need sites of memory right. in the presence of mass erasure. Mm -hmm. we, need, we need ways in which we're all sharing together an experience that we are not there as spectators, we are there as participants. Mm. And for mm -hmm. me, that's the powerful thing as a ritual, is no, no, you are making it. You're not coming to watch it. You right. are actually creating it. Yeah. And everybody arrives as somebody who is actively shaping the world.